Okay, this video is gonna be a little bit different. She just came into the shelter. The team just put her in the room with food and water. Remember, I often highlight the dogs that need a little more help in getting adopted. And so while it's a little hard to see, just watch her little personality come out, despite all she's been through. And no, it's gonna be a multi-stage process with her. So subscribe so that you can continue to follow her journey. And let's go sit with her. And stick around because we actually take her through the health check process. It's pretty interesting to see the behind the scenes. Okay. Should we start with a treat? Okay, okay. Oh, you are so hungry, huh? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, you are so hungry, huh? Oh, she is so hungry. Come here, come here. You can tell when a dog takes a treat as a treat. She is taking these treats like she's hasn't ever eaten anything. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna skip ahead here because I couldn't get her out of her pacing into a relaxed state until I finally shifted and kind of moved spots. Okay. I'm gonna move my spot and sit over here because she wants to be by that door. Hi, hi. Yeah, you see that chomping? Well, that chomping is definitely a I'm hungry. Um, She's got a bowl of food over there. I have a lot of treats that I think will really be good for her. All right, so what I do know is that she came in through Night Drop. And Night Drop is a place at the shelter where if no one's here while the shelter's open, that you can drop off a dog. Now, what I don't know are the details. Um, Night Drop is a good thing 99% of the time. And while it's really hard, it's really beneficial because if you find a dog, let's say it's 2 a.m., you're coming home from work, you find a dog, what do you do? Well, you can take that dog to Night Drop and you fill out all the forms. She's really thirsty. She's drinking a lot. And the question that we're going to try to figure out is, is she emaciated like this because she is hungry and someone has basically starved her and neglected her? Or is she this way because there's a medical issue? Hi. <laughs> you like sliding onto the blanket there? Hi. You looking for some love? What? Hi. 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 Here. Let's move to some positive affirmations here. I think she could use them. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Hi. You're a good girl. Yes. You are a good dog. And I am glad you're here because this is not your fault. And we are going to fill up your belly full of food. And we are going to fill your heart full of love. And it might seem really hard right now, but you are in the right place with a lot of people that really care about you. And we're going to figure out a solution to make sure that you are healthy and happy and loved. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Yeah, good girl. I know, I know, it's hard, I know. Does that crying, oh. It's like she's being told she's a good girl and she's still crying. Uh, but she's so nervous. She's such a nervous dog, understandably so. There's some things that you'll notice about her if you can, if you look closely, and you may not be able to see it in the video, but just the obvious stuff, like how skinny she is, how big her nails are. She, her nails have never been trimmed. Um, how oily her coat is. She's obviously never been bathed. Maybe not never, but I think at this point we can say never, <laughs> you know? Um, I'll bet she's probably half the weight that she should be. So for example, she's probably right now 55, 60 pounds, and she should probably be 80. 
guess it's not half, but <laughs> she's, she's 20, 35 pounds underweight. Easy. Come here. Come here. Hi. Okay, you can come all the way in here. Come here. Hi. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Ah, you're a good girl. Yes. Oh, it's okay. You can cry a little bit. Yeah. You deserve that. on your story the thing is if you're watching this right now and it's hard I know I know it's hard to see this and it makes you just question a lot but the thing is is like I've seen the other side of all of this too like I, I see the worst of these situations but I see the other side and the other side is if you fast forward three months from now, six months from now, three years from now, it will be tremendous how amazing her story is and how happy and healthy she is and how loved she is. And, and I try to do that in those moments where I just want to break down and I anger starts bubbling up inside of me. And I just really try to think forward to what it will be one day and I, I try to picture her in that moment and that and you just feel that warmth and that happiness roll over you because you know that we can make a difference like you watching this you are making a difference by watching this because it will help get her the eyeball she needs to get her into the right family there are so many people there are so many dogs in so many shelters I never get that opportunity because they're in this situation and people pass them by because they go, oh, something's wrong with that dog. I want her to sit by me, but I'm going to let her sit over there because she's in that, that calm state, which is good. She's going to be a beautiful dog. I mean, she is a beautiful dog, but when, when she fills out, she's going to be beautiful. Uh, let's call Alexis and get her story. Hey, okay, so um, what did you find out about her? Anything? No, I mean, she's so new uh, that they just saw she was left in night drop and they haven't been able to help check her yet. Okay. So we don't know anything. Oh, gosh. Okay, so she, yeah, so we don't, uh, did they leave any notes on the night drop form? There was nothing. Uh, there, there was the contact info for the person who placed her in nitro. Okay. Uh, but that's it. There was no other notes at all that I can see in the shelter system. Okay. And do we know if that was a good Samaritan or if that was her owner or? Um, it looks like it was just a good Samaritan. Okay. That's what I, that's what I would have guessed. I can, I can imagine if it was the owner, they probably wouldn't even left notes. They would have just bolted. Exactly. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Not like thinking the worst of people or anything, but you kind of start to see commonalities in these sort of situations. And a lot of times if a dog's in this situation and it's an owner known, um, then what'll happen is the owner often won't leave their information because they believe they're going to get in trouble. Um, or they know that there's something medically wrong with the dog, like they took their dog to the vet and... Um, and the dog was diagnosed with something clinically and they couldn't maybe afford to get the surgery or the treatment or they knew it was the end of the line. And so they bring the dog to the shelter. Most likely what happened is she was so hungry that she finally just got out. She broke out of her, her situation, her prison, because she was so hungry. And um, I would guess that that's what happened because the amount of food and water that she's drinking. Oh, that's good. That's good. Just tells me that she is 
genuinely hungry. If she was sick, if there was something wrong with like cancer or something like that, um, she probably would be eating this much. You're a good girl. I'm going to, um, I'm going to do something here that I don't always do, but I'm going to reach out to a rescue that I think might be able to take her. The reason I want a rescue to take her, specifically a rescue with a vet, with veterinarian capabilities, is because she's going to need some kind of love and care beyond just, hey, she's hungry, so feed her. Like, she's so bad. And dogs in this situation, when they're this bad, they can go into, uh, they can not make it all of a sudden because their system's been in shutdown and it's, it continues to be in shutdown. Okay, so I'm gonna call that a rescue. Now they may or may not be able to take her, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna send them the picture of her. Okay, I just texted her a picture and let's call her. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. It is Rocky Kanaka, and I am calling you because I have a dog that is a medical case uh, because they're just so emaciated, and they're gonna need they're gonna need a rescue for sure. And I just thought of you guys. It is a bigger dog. It's a German Shepherd, um, but I, you know she is really special. I've been sitting with her, and she's so sweet. She's so hungry. She just came in, someone dumped her, a Good Samaritan dumped her a night drop last night. We're taking her into health check right now and I'll get more details, but I just wanted to reach out to you initially and see if, uh, if there is any interest, if she might be a candidate. So I thought I'd start there. As soon as I get more health check info, I'll update you. Okay, thanks, bye. Hello? Hey, um, question for you. So yes. they scan for a microchip when she comes in, right? It's not in health check? It will be in health check, so, so we might, I don't think they even know that yet. Okay, so we we could have a microchip. Potentially, okay. um, we'll have to see. So we won't we won't we'll hold on giving her a name. Um, I do have yeah. something. I do have something before we go into health check. Um, I baked some cookies at my bakery this weekend, and she's so hungry. I think this would be perfect for her. Oh yeah, definitely. Can you okay. have uh, Kelly, or, or could you bring them to me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll be right in. Okay, cool. Uh, you see how hungry she is? I'm uniquely qualified for this because I own bakeries, the dog bakery. This will be perfect. So this peanut butter is a really healthy way to gain weight. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay, hold on, I know you're excited, come here. Let's see him right here. Oh yeah! Okay, okay, yeah. We'll start with this reindeer right here. Okay, okay, come here. Sit. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Is it gone already? Oh, that makes me so happy. Let's do another reindeer. Okay, I know that looks like chocolate. It is not, it is carob, which doesn't have theobromine in it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, B minus on that one. <laughs> come here, come here. Okay, sit. Okay, there you go. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl. I am, I am so sorry that you have gone through this. I'm so sorry. You didn't deserve it. And you are amazing. And it's going to be amazing from here. It's going to be a little bit of a journey. But you're going to be okay. That's the good thing. You're going to be okay. I like, I like, how, I'm like, I like how I'm saying that to her, but I'm also telling myself that as I tear up oh my gosh man if this doesn't hit you in the heart i don't know what does and if you if you see something like this and you don't go adopt a dog oh come on guys like there is no better feeling in the world there's no better love in the world from a dog that you rescued at the shelter there's just a bond i don't know all i'm saying is guys consider adoption Ooh. first oh does that hurt is that sore right there Okay. Okay. Hi. 
Oh, we have some hip problems there. Or just slippery floor, I think. Okay, let's go. Let's go to health check. Before we go to health check, let me tell you the rescue I reached out to. Let me know they are full up. Rescues and shelters are so full right now. But I am going to come up with a plan. It's going to cost money. We're going to figure this out. If you want to help, I'd love to have you join and become a member. Just hit that join button. And you get to be a part of an awesome community. Or if you want to buy the new Sitting With Dogs merch, just go to rockykanaka.com slash merch, or I'll just link it right to this video. All of that helps. We're going to use those funds to possibly pull off this plan with Macy. All right, let's head to health check. The team is awesome at what they do. Pets go into health check first when they get to the shelter. Remember, she just got here. But this is going to be really important because it's going to help determine where she goes next. She's likely going to be rescue only, which means a res only a rescue group can get her because she's going to need help going from this state to being ready to be adopted. And rescue groups are typically better equipped to help with that. I'm going to guess no, but let's hope for the best. Always hope, especially in these cases. No. Okay, nothing. No chippy. No chippy. Okay, they scan for a microchip. No microchip. Next, they need to do the physical exam to see if there's anything wrong. And unfortunately, the list is long. Possible ulcer on the right eye, scar on right cheek, fractured upper left canine, fractured upper right canine, worn molars. Pulp exposure okay, on okay. bottom right incisor. Fly strike on both pinnas. Dirty ears. Callus sore. During the exam, it became very obvious that she's got some really tender spots. Oh, yeah, there's a little. Okay. Aw, buddy. Right. Good stretch. <laughs> oh, okay. Ouch. There's, oh, there's, 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 there's. And the team's doing everything they can to make her feel comfortable. You're okay. You're okay, baby. You're okay. But when it came time to check and see if she was spayed, they asked me if I could come in and help because of our bond. You can go to Rocky. You can go back to Rocky. Like, save me. Take me out. Yeah. Stop <laughs> touching me too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Good job. There we go. Good girl. It's the scoop. <laughs> we like this. Okay, we'll feel first. How about feel first? Yeah, it's a good girl. I know. Hi, honey girl. So That's good. That's a good girl. No scar, no tattoo. And no switcher. Okay, good girl. That's it, Mama. That's it. Okay. Okay, that wasn't easy, but I'm very proud of her. She did really good. I think when when this one gets in a warm bath, she's gonna she gonna melt. She's just gonna melt in all the best ways. Okay, thanks guys. Come on. It makes me really happy that there are no major issues. And I actually have a bonus in this video. I'm going to sit with another dog that needs some love and support. But first, let's get this girl her spa treatment because Mel agreed to see her right away. Oh, and Mel's actually going to be the one to name her. So just wait until you find out her name. She's so thin. She's so thin. But listen, she is really sweet. Um, she chomps at everything because she's just hungry. Everything's a snack. But other than that, feed her a little bit yeah, so time. just be ready if you give her a treat. She's going to oh. try to oh, take well, your fingers too. Oh, I'll give her a treat. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's easiest for oh, you. She's so it's, it's crazy. I've never felt a German chip. So. Oh, yeah. Her, actually, her teeth look like she is an older dog. Yeah. But, oh. But she so still sweet. looks young, though, doesn't she? Yes, you're so sweet. Oh, like instantly falling in love with Mel. No surprise there. No. Okay, I'm gonna let you work your magic. Okay. And we'll come see her when you're done. Okay. Okay. All right, you can tell she's a little bit nervous about this, but she's so sweet. She didn't put up a fight at all. Mel immediately noticed a few red flags though. Yeah, see how it didn't go down? Mm -hmm. It just kind of stays there. It should go down really fast. Yes, that is definitely a sign of dehydration. As you saw in her kennel, just how much water she was excessively drinking. Mel also noticed just how bad her ears were. Her ears are so bad. That's from the flies, just horrible. The flies are just attracted to blood. It's just like meat on the barbecue. It's like 
they'll actually eat the skin. They're, I mean, I've seen dogs with half an ear. Okay, so Mel is gently massaging her ears with some medicated shampoo, and then she's going to let that sit, and she's going to start applying calming eucalyptus shampoo to help with all the dry fur and the bad smells. Sadly, Mel also found sores on her legs, and she thinks that could be just from fly attacks. She's got sores on her legs, too. Like, maybe the flies were starting to go to the legs, too. Mel's doing her best to gently apply the shampoo and really do a deep clean through her entire body. This is really going to pay off in the coming hours and days. But it's tough because even with Mel's lightest touch, sometimes it just caused her some discomfort. Oh, it's her back end. She does her tail and her back end. It's hurting her. So I'll take a break from that and work on her feet. She's been helping the shelter for a while, so she knows when to push it just a little bit, but not too much to cause pain. Okay, Mel's giving a little extra care to the paws. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, Mel's going to spend a little extra time on the ears. They're likely already infected, but she's going to get those really clean so they don't continue to fester. do a couple washes on her just because she is so bad and she wants to make sure that she is really clean before doing that final rinse. So much better. Yes, you are. This is her being so bony and laying down and you don't have any skin on your bones. I am impressed though just how well she's doing. I think Mel really appreciates that. So Good girl. Good girl. It's no wonder these dogs just fall in love with Mel whenever they come through here because she grooms them with so much love and care. It's amazing. All right, Mel works to dry the fur and tries to style it as much as she can uh, to make her look and feel better. Okay, now, she's going to need some ointment on her ears because they are now tender and raw, but Mel had to get all the gross stuff off, and now this ointment will really help protect her and help her heal. This can I can stuff. I come peek at her? Yeah. Is she done? Yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, she already looks so much more fluffy. Hi. Look at you. It's my You're ears. so fluffy. My ears are kind of... Hi. Oh, yeah, a little, little red. Okay, that's okay. That's because all bathing her and putting all the medicated shampoo on them. Yeah. It it, it just the scabs all just yeah, disintegrate off. off. She looks less skinny. The, oh yeah. Because all the fluff blew blew oh, her all yeah. out and oh and you, dish, does she feel oh, better? Oh, she feels so much better. That's why they're like. Oh hi. <laughs> what name did you come up with? Macy. That is so pretty. Okay, let's Macy. try. It. Let's see. Let's see what she thinks. Macy. Yeah. Oh, that was perfect. The cute little eyes. I know. Macy, that's perfect. You like it, huh? You like it. You're a good girl, Macy. Yeah. Okay, this next part is really interesting. It's something I, I guess I never thought about before. Listen to what Mel says about her nails while she's trimming them. Her nails are so soft, Cheryl. Soft? Yeah. Why are they soft? Oh my God, they're so long. Because... I think it's a nutrition thing. Yeah, her nails are super soft, not like a normal dog nail that's really hard, which makes sense because malnourishment would mean the nutrients aren't there for things like her fur, her coat, her nails. It's so bad. But she's all finished up and look how good she's looking. Mel's going to pick out the perfect bandana for her. One that fits the holidays with snowflakes. Look at this side by side. Oh, the first one just greasy. And look, she's so happy when she's walking back to her room. This has really made an impact. All right, help me share this. We're going to need to get a lot of eyeballs on her. While she's not available for adoption just yet, she eventually will need a home. So let's get an army of people supporting her so that when it's time, we can help her find her forever family that she deserves. Please, no calls or emails to the shelter because they cannot adopt her out right now. Oh, bonus. I had time to sit with another dog and I actually found a dog at the very end of the kennel row that you could tell was just really unsure about their situation. And it turns out they just recently came in, so they're still pretty new here. So let's go sit with them.
Hi, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can I come sit down by you? Hi. You're very sweet. I can already tell. Oh, it's okay. You don't, you don't have to look away. Hi, bud. Hi. We're going to just get this a little closer so we can all see your, see your little face. I don't know if you can see it, but he's got a lot of marks on his face. You know, sometimes people go straight to dog fighting, but I, usually it's wild animals or maybe got in a fight with a sibling or got corrected in the pack or yeah, something along those lines. None of it should have happened, by the way, but sometimes that stuff happens. I'm making little bits of eye contact with him. And he seems to be okay with that. Let's, let's go in for a treat and try to treat. I'm not, first I'm just going to set it in front of him. Right there. Yeah, look away. He's, I can hear him. He's taking it. <laughs> I am. Um, I try to give him treats too to check him out. So he's not neutered. Um, he looks really. He looks healthy outside of just kind of the marks on his face and stuff like he's a healthy looking dog with good weight good coat cute little eyebrows hi hi good boy let's try an open hand treat oh yeah i don't know guys i can't like i can't tell i want to get some more information on him here in just a second but you know he looks like somebody's dog I am really hoping he came in. I don't see a collar up on the... Oh, wait. I think I do. Can you check and see if that's a collar up there? Wait, you get... Wait. We have two collars. We have two collars. Okay, hold on. We might... <laughs> there, there might be a story there. See at this? Huh? Uh, uh, Whose is that? Whose is that? Is it yours? Is that yours or is this one yours? Why do we have two, bud? Which one? Here, let's see if it'll... See if you pick which one's his. Which one? That one? Okay. Going for a pet? Oh. That was kind of a good... I'm proud of myself for that. That was a sneaky move. Like, I showed him the collar. Gave him a little bit of affection there. That's good. Yeah. Hi. Uh, Alexis, do you have... What's his kennel card say how, what's this like is he how old is he uh or on here they just have him down as a year and a half ish year and a half ish yeah. i could see that he, he's i mean his coat is really healthy and young it's like he's like a velvet teddy bear coat hi making you a little nervous so he was actually left in night drop found by a good samaritan along with another dog actually okay hold on so you have a sibling that oh oh guys that's it that's why Siblings collar. The sibling's still here? Yes. The sibling right next door? That's a sister. Sister? They try to put them right next to each other, sometimes in the same kennel if there's room, but sometimes they're a little too nervous. Okay, so you've had a little rough. You can't have to come through night drop, and not the right night drop's rough, but it's unknown and it's scary. Should we do some positive affirmations real quick? You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. Yeah. You're a good boy. You want a tree? Do you want a tree? Good boy. Yeah. That's a good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Does that feel good? Oh, is that the spot right there? Is that the spot right there? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're so, you're such a good dog. Hey, you are loved and you're going to be okay. All right. We're going to, we're going to help you. Find your family or get a new family. What do we... Oh, do we have a name? We do not, actually. Okay. Not, yeah, that, not that we know of. I'm sure he does have one, though. Unknown. Okay. Wait, wait. Why do you say that? Because uh, it looks like they, him and the dog he came with are owner knowns right now. Oh, so my, uh, microchip or they got it off the collar? Looks like microchip. Okay, so... Okay, so that's good. The neat thing about 
a microchip. And this is why you have to get your dog microchipped. I know some people are like really against microchipping. Don't be because it will help you reunite your dog. And uh, in this case, it allows the shelter to reach out to the owner to know that, yes, there's, you know, there's these two siblings have an owner and um, and we might be able to help you get your way back home. Or oh, you going to let me get you a belly scratch? You want a belly scratch? Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, good boy. Wow. Thank you. What are, are there any other notes in there? Uh, yeah, actually, um, recently, Shelter just put in a note to say the owner should be coming in for the dog this week, so. What do you mean this week? Today's, well, mo today's Monday. Today's Monday. Okay. Um, it looks like the owner will be coming in Wednesday. They could be out of town. Where? Who knows? If my dog was here, I would be down here this second. But if, if I was traveling or something, maybe I couldn't get back in time. I would probably send a friend or family member. <laughs> but you never know. You might not. You might. You might not. Have, you might be new to the town, not have any friends or family in here. We don't have a name. Should we do a nickname until his family comes to get him, just in case? How about, how about Bean? Bean? Bean. He looks like old Bean. You know, the thing is, if you want the information before anybody else, join, become a member. It helps support what we're doing, and uh, it's kind of a safe zone, so I can put a lot more information in there. And, uh, and then we, everyone gets the information. If you're watching this video later and you want the information, uh, just go to rockykanaka.com, type in Bean, and you can find all the information. And I almost forgot to mention, did you see our my new shirt? This is my new with dog shirt. So the show is called Sitting with Dogs. I think life is better with dogs. Everything's better with dogs. And so we've got our with dogs logo. Uh, Alexis and Kelly got their new merch, their hoodie and t-shirt today. So... I'll show you that as well. So go go get one. I would love for you guys to get this and um, be a part of the with dogs. Can I point out something here? This is what we're trying to accomplish when we sit with dogs. He was not, he has not been in this state. He just came into the shelter and him getting the opportunity to just shut off his brain and go, okay, I'm okay right now. I'm safe. I'm not scared. Maybe unsure still, but not scared. Like this is what we're trying to accomplish. This is the point we're trying to get to. Alexis and Kelly are out there throwing like two bones to the dogs and helping keep them quiet. And so even if it's just for a moment of getting to be calm, it helps so much because then they know that this state is available and it, it can happen. And hopefully you're only here for a couple days until mom can come get you. I said mom. I don't know why I said mom. Maybe dad. I don't know. Relax, relax, bud. All right, I'll put it down in the description below. Fingers crossed, these two are going home. Check the description down below for details or become a member now and you'll have the details even sooner. I'm gonna put uh, pup date videos up too. So I will link a pup date video right here, somewhere right in here, or just check the description below to watch the next video. Thanks for sitting with dogs with me.